everybody and welcome back to Science Thrills. My name's Avik and this is my younger brother Anush. Today we're going to be extracting DNA from bananas and strawberries. Sounds fancy, right? It's actually really simple. So, Anush, could you tell them what we have? Okay, we have a cup, two cups since me and Avik, uh, some salt, a dishwashing liquid, some water, a muslin cloth or coffee filter, uh, I said so, isopropyl alcohol or ethanol, strawberries, bananas or any fruit, mushy fruit uh, should be better, some uh, zip a ziplock, knife and a plate. Now let's get started. I'm using strawberries and my big brother is using a banana. So what we have to do is mush them up in our bags. Until all the lumps are gone and it looks like a pudding almost. Okay. You can use a bit smaller bag. We've got a big one. So just grab it. Keep going. Over there. Um, now we have put our fruits inside. Now we're going to mush it up. So there are no lumps and it's just like a pudding as I said before. Wow. This is fun, you gotta try this. Mush it up for almost a minute and we'll be back. We add half a cup of hot water and a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna be putting fresh. Very slowly. Now the salt. Hey, now for my turn. And now you mush it again carefully for 35 to 40 seconds. Okay guys, now I'm going to be pouring my dish soap. Half a teaspoon of dish soap. In my bag. So let's do it. So we're going to pour it and seal it. Go. When you pour, be careful if if you squish it up too hard, our bag will tear, and we don't want that to happen. And also, when you put your dish up, we don't want too many bubbles forming inside our bag. So make sure you mix it gently for a couple of minutes. We've let our mixture sit for about five minutes. Now we're going to be filtering it. Before we start, we made our own funnels. If you don't have yours, you can also make this. Take a plastic bottle and cut this part off. You've got it. So we take the funnel, put it over here. And then we take muslin cloth or coffee filter. We've got a muslin cloth. And then we put it like this and down like this. Until it's like that. So... Gently. Guys, now we have finished filtering. So now here's our ethanol. You can use either isopropyl alcohol or ethanol. DNA clumps are soluble, which means can be dissolved in some liquids, but not in alcohol. So adding alcohol helps the clumps of DNA to form. Let's find out. Yes. You've got to be very careful when you pour it. You pour it from the side. We're putting our ethanol inside my mixture. So as you can see, my mom's pouring it slowly from the side. That's what um, should be what you should do okay we're going to be adding about two centimeters of ethanol see what happens oh can you see that 
there's small, small, small bubble-like things and connected to each other. That's clumps of DNA. That's so cool. Can you see these little strands which are attached to small bubbles? Oh, that is so cool. Can you see that? That is so big. There are like so many. Wow. You wait for a while, you can get more of these. Yeah. Now let's try with the strawberry extract. Yes. Put it in mine and see what happens. Make sure the alcohol is cold. Sometimes you gotta wait for a while. Wow, wow. it's so cool! Can you see? It's also starting to form in Anushis. Wow, can you see they're starting to come up? These wow. are clumps of DNA strands of strawberry. Wow. Now let's see the banana. Oh, wow. Can you see oh how many have started God, to come? That is so much. Wow. Oh, wow. Those are all the strands of DNA that have begun to clump. Wow. Check it out, guys. Wow, that is so cool. Wow, that is so cool. Can you see that? We have a lot more in bananas. See, wow. There are All lots living of them. things, bananas, and people included pass on information from one generation to the next using the same basic material. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. Within every living organism, most cells contain a complete wow. set of DNA instructions. The information in DNA tells our bodies how to develop, grow, and work. Wow. Awesome, isn't that it? That is so cool. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and bye.